<laughs> What's going on, Skid? They said their AC was blowing hot upstairs. It's January 31st. That's how it is in Florida. Little fan spinning freely. Can't get the fan to come on, but you can hear the compressor come on. I'll put the disconnect in so you can take a gander. Presser, but no fan. All right. Let me check the capacitor first. As you can see, it's a, a Goodman heat pump. Uh, it's a 13 sear. See the 024? That means it's a two ton, two ton Goodman heat pump. Got the wires off. I'll get my meter out and check the cap. All right, I got one of my leads on C for common, one of my leads on fan. And we got five. The cap's good. It's a 40, 40-5 capacitor. We'll check the Herm just to be sure. All right, I'm checking the Herm. The start winding for the compressor. And we got 38.73. It's not 40, but it's not bad. This is what I use for my capacitors. If it's supposed to be 40, if it's below 38, I'll change it out. And if it's below 4.75 for the 5 microfed, I'll change it out. It's a good little helpful tool for you, Skid. If you want to take a little screenshot of that. All right, I know my capacitor's good. So the next thing I want to check is my defrost board. And here's a little trick with these Goodman heat pumps. To check to see if your defrost board is bad or not, you can pull the common wire. This is for your fan. Pull it off the DF2 slot there, the common wire, and stick it on the common side of your contactor. Right there. That's where I put it, on the left side of the contact, the common side. So I pulled the fan wire off of DF2 and put it on the common side of my contactor. Now when I put the disconnect back in and if the fan fires up, I know I got a bad defrost board. Yep, yeah. got a bad defrost board, Skid. So yeah, there's a little the frost board trick for you. So now I'm going to run to the shop and get another defrost board. All right, I got my new defrost board here. And all you do is you just go wire for wire, you know, just plug it in just like the, the old one up here, go wire for wire. It's not that hard. I'm trying to keep these videos short, so I won't film that. But I'll, get, I'll do a quick recap. All I did was pull the common wire, the fan common, off of DF2. And I put it right here. That's it right there on the common side of the contactor. That's all you do. All right, I'm gonna switch this board out. All right, I got my new board in. It's really simple, dudes. You just go color for color. I wanna try to keep these five minutes and under, so I'm not gonna put in and film any fluff stuff. I went ahead and changed the cap too, since it's all almost below my threshold there. It's a 40 microfarad, and it was around 38.77. Went ahead and replaced it. Put the disconnect in, see if she fires. Right, Come on, big money, no whammy. <laughs> oh yeah, we're good to go. Oh yeah, charge is good. Got some good sweat on the line. 
We're good to go. Hope this helps out. Thank you for watching The Dirty Maintenance Show.